God is saying today, what is in your hand? God has given something to you to use for his kingdom and to bless others with. What is that thing? Or maybe it's more than one thing. Two weeks ago, I prayed to God before I went to sleep and I asked him for an idea or a strategy as to how I could reach others more. That night, I dreamt a dream I wasn't expecting. I dreamt that I was playing football. Now, I don't play football much and I don't follow football much, but I've played it in the past. But I knew when I woke up that God was giving me a strategy as to how I could reach others in my local community. Just a week ago, I invited my local hairdresser, who I've been trying to share the gospel with, to come and have a game of football with me, just to kick about up the local uh, five-a-side pitches near us. And he came and we talked for over an hour. And I was able to share the gospel in such a powerful, clear way with him that he really understood it and really agreed with what I was saying. He then invited me to come and meet some other guys at a local gym and maybe train with them as well. What I'm saying to you today is God has given you something to use for his kingdom and for his glory. What is that thing? When Moses approached God in the burning bush, one of the things that God said to Moses was, what's in your hand? And he looked down and he saw his staff. This was in response to Moses saying, how can I go? How, how will they listen to me? And God was saying, I've already equipped you with what you need. Listen, God is calling us today to go out and to help people, to reach people, to bless people, to further his kingdom. And he's given us what we need. We can't look at what someone else has got in their hands because that's not what God's given to us. God has given us something unique. There's something in your life right now that you might not think much of, but God can use it to bless many, many, many people. I've had the privilege of leading people to the Lord just with my telephone. When someone calls me to try and sell me something, I've turned the conversation around and I've actually introduced them to Jesus. Instead, I've, I've been the one that's sold them something rather than them selling me something. I want to encourage you today, it's in your hands, whatever it is. It might be a cup of water. The Bible says that if you give a cup of cold water to a little one, you will not lose your reward. There'll be a reward for you because of that. And it also says that God has given us talents and gifts and he expects us to multiply them and to get an increase on them, to, to profit from them. So we need to use what he's given us today. I don't know what you've got in your life today. I don't know what's in your hand or even in your pockets. Even if it's a fiver, five pound note, you could go and bless someone today with that and it could change their life it could change their thinking about God and about people being kind in these days that we live in I just pray today that you will see what God has already given to you you will not be afraid or ashamed to use it and you will trust God that he's going to multiply your efforts with success and you're going to see something great in these times in Jesus name